Uh, there were holdout Nazis in a few places. Uh, there were uh, a few Germans tried to escape and went to uh, down to the Danube. Uh, I remember being on a special mission to try to find two or three German uh, high-level government people who had escaped to the Danube. We were tipped off that that's where they went. We never found them. We suspected that they committed suicide, which many, many high-ranking Germans did during those days, starting off with Hitler. Uh, but uh, there were only pockets of uh, resistance, and they, they quickly diminished. And then what was occupation like for you? Did you stay in Germany, or did you move south to Austria? No, I was in Bavaria during that period in what was then officially called the Army of Occupation. And um, it was rather routine. Uh, we had responsibility for watching the Czech border, which as you remember from your map, uh, borders Bavaria at the southern tip of Germany, in the town, of, beautiful town of Passau, in Germany. Uh, I spent a lot of time there and other small towns in Bavaria. I was in uh, Army Intelligence at the time and operations also, uh, looking out for general occupation territory. We had few duties in the sense that there was no combat, uh, but we were watching out for spies or infiltrators or so-called fifth columnists who might be lingering around uh, trying to uh, find out more about the U.S. Army and what it was doing. It was mostly a, just biding time until I became eligible for uh, transfer to the States.